Okay, so if you put both your hands up like this, this is your scapula, right? So right in the middle is your spine. So if you have, and when you're looking at a shoulder blade, um, this is your superior angle. And then down here at the base of your thumb is your um, inferior angle, right? So if this is your superior angle, down here is your inferior angle. And when, when they talk about a scapula that's abducted, they're literally just saying that the scapula is a little bit abducted away from the spine, right? So when you're looking at it from a shoulder observation point of view, you're looking for that space between where the spine is and the medial border, right? This is the medial border of your spine, of the, of the scapula. So when they use words like um, anterior and posterior tipping, so when they talk about anterior tipping, then you're gonna tip this top part, so this is your superior angle, you're gonna tip that, that superior angle forward, so it's anterior tipping. So what happens is it tips the, the top of the scapula forward, which then um, pushes the inferior angle posteriorly. That's anterior tip, tipping or tilting, and then posterior is like this, going backwards. But you really don't go backwards, so the position more it's going forward. So it's anterior tipping, right? Um, but I think where you could potentially get confused is when they talk about anterior tipping, you've got to make sure they're talking about anterior tipping and they're not talking about the posterior angle. I mean, the inferior angle doing a posterior move backwards. Does that make sense?